Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, without further ado so this is 10 Fascinating Facts About Grasshoppers Famed fable writer Aesop portrayed the grasshopper as a nerdy well who fiddled away his summer days without a thought to the future but in the real world, the destruction wreaked by grasshoppers on farming and ranching is far from a harmless parable. Although grasshoppers are extremely common, there's more to these summertime critters than meets the eye. Here's a list of 10 fascinating grasshopper related facts. Number 1. Grasshoppers and locusts are one and the same. When we think of grasshoppers, most people recall pleasant childhood memories of trying to catch the jumping insects in meadows or backyards. Say the word locusts, however, and it brings to mind images of historic plagues raining down destruction on crops and devouring every plant in sight. Truth be told, grasshoppers and locusts are members of the same insect order. While certain species are commonly referred to grasshoppers and others as locusts, both creatures are short-horned members of the order Orthoptera. Jumping herbivores with shorter antennae are grouped into the suborder Silifera, while their longer horned brethren, crickets and katydids, belong to the suborder Ancifera. Number 2, Grasshoppers have ears on their bellies, the grasshopper's auditory organs are found not on the head, but rather, on the abdomen. A pair of membranes that vibrate in response to sound waves are located one on either side of the first abdominal segment, tucked under the wings. This simple eardrum, called a tympanal organ, allows the grasshopper to hear the songs of its fellow grasshoppers. Number 3, Although grasshoppers can hear, they can't distinguish pitch very well, as with most insects, the grasshopper's auditory organs are simple structures. They can detect differences in intensity and rhythm, but not pitch. The male grasshopper's song isn't particularly melodic which is a good thing since females don't care whether or not a fellow can carry a tune. Each species of grasshopper produces a characteristic rhythm that distinguishes its song from others and enables courting males and females of a given species to find one another. Number 4. Grasshoppers make music by stridulating or crepitating, if you're not familiar with those terms, don't worry. It's not all that complicated. Most grasshoppers stridulate, which simply means that they rub their hind legs against their forewings to produce their trademark tunes. Special pegs on the inside of the hind leg act like a percussion instrument of sorts when they come in contact with the thickened edge of the wing. The band winged grasshoppers crepitate or loudly snap their wings as they fly. Number 5. Grasshoppers catapult themselves into the air. If you've ever tried to catch a grasshopper, you know how far they can jump to flee danger. If humans could jump the way grasshoppers do, we would be able to easily leap the length of a football field. How do these insects jump so far? It's all in those big, back legs. A grasshopper's hind legs function like miniature catapults. In preparation for a jump, the grasshopper contracts its large flexor muscle slowly, bending its hind legs at the knee joint. A special piece of cuticle within the knee acts as a spring, storing up all the potential energy. The grasshopper then relaxes its leg muscles, allowing the spring to release its energy and fling the insect into the air. Number 6. Grasshoppers can fly. Because grasshoppers have such powerful jumping legs, people sometimes don't realize that they also have wings. Grasshoppers use their jumping ability to give them a boost into the air but most are pretty strong flyers and make good use of their wings to escape predators. Number 7. Grasshoppers can devastate food crops. One lone grasshopper can't do too much harm, although it eats about half its body weight in plants each day. But when locusts swarm, their combined feeding habits can completely defoliate a landscape, leaving farmers without crops and people without food. In 2006, researchers reported an earlier study estimating that damage to forage crops amounting to $1.5 billion was caused annually by grasshoppers. In 1954, a swarm of desert locusts, Schistocerca gregaria, consumed over 75 square miles of wild and cultivated plants in Kenya. Number 8. Grasshoppers are an important source of protein, people have been consuming locusts and grasshoppers for centuries. According to the Bible, John the Baptist ate locusts and honey in the wilderness. Locusts and grasshoppers are a regular dietary component in local diets in many areas of Africa, Asia, and the Americas, and since they're packed with protein, they're an important nutritional staple as well. Number 9. Grasshoppers existed long before dinosaurs. Modern-day grasshoppers descend from ancient ancestors that lived long before dinosaurs roamed the Earth. The fossil record shows that primitive grasshoppers first appeared during the Carboniferous period, more than 300 million years ago. Most ancient grasshoppers are preserved as fossils, although grasshopper nymphs, the second stage in the grasshopper lifestyle after the initial egg phase, are occasionally found in amber. 
Number 10. Grasshoppers may spit liquid to defend themselves. If you've ever handled grasshoppers, you've probably had a few of them spit brown liquid on you in protest. Scientists believe this behavior is a means of self-defense, and the liquid helps the insects repel predators. Some people say grasshoppers spit tobacco juice, probably because historically, grasshoppers have been associated with tobacco crops. Rest assured, however, the grasshoppers aren't using you as a spittoon. Well, that's all we have for you today. Thanks for watching.